Merry Christmas, everyone, and welcome to a very special episode of Unboxed, Watched, and Reviewed. I am so excited to share today's movie with you that I can't even stand it. We have a package. Oh, yes, we have a package, and it comes from Moss Garcia, the fist pig himself. I know what this is, and I am so excited to share this with you. I've been biting my tongue, I've been giving no hints or spoilers about this episode, but and let me tell you, it has been so hard not saying anything. The anxiety is already overflowing inside of me, and I don't want to do this. I've been dreading this like it's going into surgery. I mean, it's like, the day's coming, the day's coming, and I think, alright, I'm just gonna do it. But we're gonna see what it is first. What could it be? Big fans of the show will know what this is, and I hope you guys are thrilled. Moss has been talking about a Fist Pig 3. Do you think that's what it is? That has to do with the show, and it's disgusting. I'm just not even prepared. I'm not prepared for this. Not prepared for Fist Pig 3? All right, well, don't worry. It's not that. It's grosser. Oh, well, would you look at that? Moss included a picture of himself. Well, I can show you some of it. I can't show you the cock he's holding in his hand, which is his own. But it says, Best Witches Love Moss. That is Moss Garcia. There he is. Little scary. You know, little scary. Now that's what you'd call a fist pig. Lovely Christmas stuff. Also included was a very important letter. Dearest UWR fans, you are about to witness a review three years in the making. Oh, don't stop there. Keep reading. I've scoured the darkest corners of the internet and made friends with some very questionable folks to bring this to you. Happy holidays from my fist to your holes. Love, Moss Garcia. It says, P.S. You got a friend? Oh, God. What's that from? It can't be. No. What is this? Uh-oh. Brace yourselves, everyone, because this is something I bet none of you thought existed. I'll tell you one thing, this is an official sequel. Are you ready for this? Hershey's Kisses 2! That's right, everybody, Hershey's Kisses 2! AKA more shit. And guess who's the star? Christopher Rage. Oh, shit. Can you believe it? I don't want to see it. It's making me really nervous. I genuinely have a weak stomach, and it's not one of my best qualities. You know, I mean, I will throw up in real life if I watch someone eat egg salad. I really will. But this is our Christmas special. I'm doing this for you, and I hope you guys are delightfully surprised to see that such a thing exists and that it's right here. So Merry Christmas, everyone, and let's do this. Here we go. Are you guys ready to start Hershey's Kisses 2? Can you believe we're saying that? Hershey's Kisses 2 with Christopher Rage and friends? <sighs> Moss told me that this is worse and that there's a scene in this that made him almost throw up. And he's a fist pig. I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. I took a Xanax. I'm really genuinely nervous. Okay, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I was legitimately having a panic attack. I just gotta tell myself I'm not gonna throw up and just look at it like it's just, everybody does it. It's a normal bodily function. I wonder if Moss wiped his butt before packing this up. We're off to a mature start already, aren't we? Ah, oh, fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, no, no. Look at this. Moss Garcia presents. Before hitting play, I had to check the runtime. An hour and eight minutes? I think I'm gonna die. This is longer than White Girl Wasted. I don't want to see this. And finally, and very reluctantly, I hit play. Play. So Hershey's Kisses 2 begins brilliantly. So it's weird VHS footage, and it's cutting to some 1960s looking gore movie, just like the first one. 
I love it. That's exactly how the first one started with this mysterious unknown footage from some old movie with a woman with her stomach ripped up. It's brilliant. Brilliant. So after about 30 seconds of this gore scene, the official movie begins. Oh my god, the credits are on toilet paper. Christopher Rage, 1985, and there's someone sitting on the toilet wiping their butt. And there's the credits being flushed down the toilet. I hate to say it, but Christopher Rage is very artistic. I mean, I do like him. Look at him in Drive. He's a great actor and he's so fabulous. And here he is as a naked goblin, balls and dick out. He's just squirming around on this bed in slow motion. It's not in that scary attic. Now a man appeared and they're laying together in bed and they're gonna get real fecal with one another. Moss told me this has a lot of the signature rage close-ups in it too, so those are always terrifying. I can't believe we're watching this right now. It's exciting yet horrifying. It then cuts to two men wearing leather straps sniffing each other's crotches and giving the ever so pleasant arm hickey. He's gonna start doing that to that man's shitty ass. Shitting ass. The guy who kind of looks like Rizzo from Grease 1 is getting nipple clamps put on him. His mouth has like one of those gag things in it, you know, those, those gag things. There's two men assisting with the nipple clamps. One of these deviants had a flamboyance that took me by surprise. Oh, you can do it yourself, huh? That's so nice of you. They're very queenie. I would have thought shit hogs would be like, Oh yeah, man. Not so, oh, you can do it yourself, that helps. This queen is gonna start shitting. We're looking at a toilet, and it's flushing, which I think means we're probably transitioning. Yep, there's an asshole and the ball's hanging beneath it. And inevitably, the shit begins to flow, or grow, because it seems to be slowly growing out of his ass. It's coming out, it looks like a dick. I can't do it, I can't do it, oh, so bad. There's a prolapse. Okay, I can't physically handle this right now. I forgot what shit looks like. I guess when you're standing up, the shit looks so much longer or something. And it was just coming out and it was all rocky and it was all light, light brown, tannish brown, tan. It was tanned. Then it came all the way out and it dropped. And before you could even go, oh shit, it just, suddenly there's a big red prolapsed anus filling the screen and it's pushing. By this point, my panic attack was so bad that I was starting to get fucked up off of it. I feel like I just took some drugs and it's like, oh fuck. And you're freaked out? That's what's going on here. Okay, we're gonna try it again. So here we go. Here's the shitting ass. Okay, now there's another shitting ass. I forgot that Christopher Rage was a goblin demon from hell who is the most deviant, disgusting person to ever, ever, to ever be an idiot. He is a talent in drive and his music ability could score Weekend at Bernie's 3, but still, this man is disgusting. He puts his head under this chair that has a toilet seat for a seat, and someone comes and sits upon it. He then expels the contents of his colon into Christopher Rage's gaping mouth. He's eating it. He's, he's eating it up. He just chewed it up and swallowed it, and I think that's very bad for you. He's upside down beneath a chair with a hole in it. It was like he was just liking it. What a sick man. Okay, before I could even explain that, it just cut to somebody pissing in a Budweiser can with a big boner. And now it cut to what looks like a black ass being pumped up with one of those nose suckers for babies. Talk about the most disgusting invention ever made. He just filled the guy's ass with water, so he's about to release the enema. I just wonder how much shit he has in there is what I'm worried about. How long has this been on? 12 minutes. That's it? Oh yeah, there's one of the close-ups. I just thought of something. This was made the same year as just one of the guys. Isn't that weird? I'm just trying to distract myself, but that is a fact. Alright, well there's a man who just shit out a ton shot of shit onto a tarp. This was from far away though, so it wasn't too terrible. And it's zooming up to his crisco ass, and then he just, he just pulled what looked like a pussy out of his butt. I mean, his asshole looked like a regular asshole, then he pulled out this stretchy pussy from his ass. I can't do this alone. I need ye fire.
Ye fire, get your ass out of my fucking face. That's sick. This man is taking a huge fucking golf ball out of this man's butt. And it's a close-up. This is how you're spending your Christmas? Yeah. Yeah, it is. There's poop in a toilet with whipped cream on it. Now it just cut to somebody sitting on a guy's face like this. He's facing the camera in the crab walk position and there's a man underneath him with his face like this. Eating the poop. Alright, well now we've got an arm and an asshole. Heavy duty Crisco fisting. Now I've never seen anything like this next part. I didn't even know it was humanly possible. I always thought it was just an expression. Oh. He's pulling his penis down between his legs and stuffing it into his asshole. He's fucking himself. His balls didn't get in the way because it appears that he doesn't have any. Oh, he does, but we just can't see them. Where are they? Where are that man's balls in his butt? Oh my God, he just spit his ball sack out of his ass and his anus opened up with all this bright red looking jelly and meat inside of it like a mouth puking up a ball sack, but it was his asshole and his balls. So he had his entire penis and waffle bag shoved up his butthole. What did you think of that, ye fire? That was fucking fucked up. I know. Now look. Then we go back to the joyous toilet chair room where we see Christopher Rage. Of him under the ass, licking, licking the hole. He starts to tease the point of the shit with his tongue like he's trying to make it come out of the asshole like he's doing the ass a favor like alright you just sit there and I'm gonna get this big piece of shit out of your butt rubbing the butt waiting for it to shit and it's slowly coming out and he's ah like he, he really wants it ye fire watch out he's wrapping he's wrapping his lips the shit's coming out and it's in the guy's ass and he's going like suck it out as it comes out. Oh my god, how much is this fucking shithead gonna shit? We then see our deranged blonde friend sitting on a bed in front of milk duds and sugar babies. Like the candy. And he's putting milk duds up his ass. He's fucking himself with this big brown candy bar. And he's pushing it all the way in. An entire candy bar is coming out of his ass and Christopher Age is eating it out of there. Christopher Ray just had his hair and the man sitting like this, and poop is coming out. And it just fell out his face. The shit was chunky like my vomit. I ate before watching this, which added flavor to the natural spice of puke. Why did I eat a banana and string cheese? I had some string cheese, a banana, some Kellogg's corn pops, a protein drink, and some orange soda. No, it's so fit. So get ready for some splattering nastiness. It's not liquid today. Oh, there's that Xanax. Excuse me, I'm going to go wash out this puke bucket. We'll be right back. Gee, I'm hungry. Candy bar. Sugar babies. Milk duds. Well, what am I supposed to do with these? Put them up your ass. Here we go. There's someone else under the toilet seat chair. And he's doing the same thing. He's eating it up and it takes him so long to swallow it because he's he's like tasting it. No, oh, not again. He's encouraging out of he's encouraging it out of the butt. So I thought he eats it. I'm sorry this is so gross. God, you don't want to look into this. You do bad. What that would taste like? And then a big mouthful pops out and he just starts chewing it up like it's a big piece of cake or something. He's just, he's doing that with his tongue, just like, hold on, hold that other piece of shit up there for a sec. I'm not done. Nah. All right, bring it on. There's big, there's big and little ones. The big little ones. <laughs> he fire. Be right back. Time to clean up myself and the puke bucket once again. You wouldn't believe how much was in there and it looked like carrot soup. Banana. String cheese. Protein shake. Corn pops. An orange soda. Blend. Carrot soup. 
All right, we're back. Sorry about that, Ye Fire. You ready? Yeah, I guess so. From there, we get a lot of deep fisting, some anal beats, then we go back to the shit zone. Here, we see a man talking to a guy's heaving asshole, saying, Come on, push. Yeah, there you go. Push. Push. Oh, it sounds like he's coaching him through a fucking water birth. There's Christopher Rage. There's a butt. His mouth is wide open, so his gag reflex is right there. And then Zabai and it's failure. Oh, it's slurping in and out of his mouth. And he's got it just hanging out of his mouth. Like, looking around with this big hunk of shit in his mouth. Now he's looking at the camera with his scary eyes. With the poop in his mouth. Scare staring at the camera and chewing it up. With it hanging out of his mouth. And the guy just picked it up a little bit. And now... <laughs> Christopher H is giving the, <laughs> the shit a blowjob. <laughs> the guy's... <laughs> The guy's fucking Christopher Ray just face with the shit. And Christopher keeps glancing at the camera. The shit's in his mouth now. The guy's putting his dick in there. Forcing, packing the shit in. And Christopher Ray just going, ah, 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 ah. Looking at the camera, freaking us out. With the seriously deranged face that you cannot fake. And in the most shocking scene in the movie, the taste and smell must have been so bad that... Oh God, it's making him gag. It's so gross that it's making Christopher Rage gag. The piggiest of the piggy pig pigs who shit on everybody's chinny chin chins. It's making him sick. I think Christopher Rage puked up the shit and now they're making out. Can you believe this? And once completely swallowed, the end. Thank the Christmas gods. I'll be right back. Can you believe that we just watched the sequel to Hershey's Kisses? Let's put on his music. This movie causes physical pain and emotional distress. It gave me a tremendous headache. It made me sick. It offended ye fire. And it was horrible. So what do I give Hershey's Kisses 2 on a scale of 1 to 5? Well, I'd have to give it a zero. The shits were very long, different shades. There was a lot of prolapsed anuses and pissing. Disgusting, vile, horrible, deranged, insane, sick. This movie is something else. So thank you, Moss Garcia, for making this episode possible. Couldn't have done it without you. Thank you. So Merry Christmas, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Best of times and best of times I had, you know I need it. I need it bad.